Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Trix aka Nico. Welcome back to a new video. Today I have something pretty exciting to show off. As you can see, I got my skeleton horse. And the coolest thing about it is I got it solo. Up until the point where I actually got it, I didn't even think that it was possible or will ever get possible to get it by yourself. As one person. I always thought the only possible way was to fill up a lobby with a bunch of people who help you out getting it, which was something that I wasn't really a fan of. But... A couple of weeks ago, they added something to the game which changed a lot of things. It was called Random Hub, which meant you were able to choose the hub you want to play in. And if you had a rank, you could get something called a private hub with nobody else in there. This opened up a bunch of new strategies. And I know for a fact that a ton of people already showed off the strategy that I used. But I really just wanted to talk about it to raise even more awareness about it, even though Austin might kill me for this. But I also found something that is pretty crucial of helping me get the horse with this strategy. Even though I used this strategy, I found something that will help you out a ton whilst using it. But before we go into the strategy, I just really quickly want to go over the requirements that you basically have to have for the event and for the items that I would recommend you to use. First up, we have the bad person armor. I don't think that there is or will ever be a possible way of getting the horse without the armor. I know for a fact that it's pretty expensive, but like I said, I don't think that there is or will ever be another method. Therefore, this is a requirement and you will probably not be able to get it without it. Next up, this is optional, but I used seven different pots. I drank three of them, which was rabbit, magic find and critical, and then I got splashed with the others. Spirit, Agility, Speed and Adrenaline. These pots were pretty self-explanatory. Rabbit and the other ones were basically just for speed. And Magic Find and the Critical with the Magic Find bonus were just for the Magic Find effect. I know for a fact that a couple of people already talked about the fact that Magic Find doesn't work on candy as well as in the spooky event. But I used it, I placed pretty good to be honest. So I can just recommend it for myself. It's not too expensive I think and like I said I used it and I placed pretty well. Alright, so how do we get into a private lobby? So when you spawn at the hub, you have something called the hub selector, which is basically just when you turn left. And previously, this guy was there to make it possible for you to switch in between the biggest lobbies on the server, which were 1 to 28. But now you have something called the random hub feature, which lets you teleport into a random hub. This opens the potential for you to be able to spawn in a hub with as little as possible people in there. For example, right now we're only here with one other person, but if we do it for a couple of times, you will see that we actually have the ability to get into a private lobby with nobody else in there. Of course, there's always the possibility for someone else to join in, but just hope and pray for God that nobody else jumps in and you will be good. All right, after you've gotten into your own private lobby, you will have to do a couple of things. You will have to know about a couple of things and you will have to do a couple of things. First up, you will have to fill your inventory with a bunch of stuff. I just filled my inventory with oak and whatever it, um, is in here right now. But you can fill it with whatever you want, except for two things. I would recommend not filling it with arrows. You can do that, but as soon as the arrows run out, you will have an empty spot. And these empty spots are crucial. You will need to have your inventory filled up the entire time. And the second item you cannot use is bones, because the skeletons, which we are going to kill now, they drop bones and we do not want to pick up the bones and I will show you as soon as they start spawning. One other really important part which is actually in 20 in-game minutes, the skeletons only spawn at night. They spawn here on the highlands behind the spawn, behind the big mountain of the spawn area and they will start spawning from 7pm which is right now, there we go, until 6am in the morning. This time is really crucial for you because the spook event always starts off in the middle of the night which means you will always start off with a night time. One more really important thing is you will have to get rid of your Im Intimidation Artifact, Talisman or Ring because you want the skeletons to attack you. As you can see right here, I'm getting attacked and that is exactly what we want. Because if we kill a skeleton right now, they will drop a bone or multiple ones. And one of these bones, if you don't pick them up, will respawn the skeleton. And this is the crucial part about the strategy. So one very, very important part about this strategy is grouping up all the skeletons, which I'm doing right now, but there is the really big point that I wanted to point out at the beginning of the video. I have found something in this part that will make you able to group them up even more efficiently. A lot of people already did videos and talked about this strategy, so I'm gonna not try to explain too much about the already talked about stuff and go into the detail about the stuff that I found out that helped me a lot myself. 
If you want to group up these skeletons, you have to go close to them so that they start following you. But interestingly enough, they lose interest in you, as well as if you just start grouping them up until you have them in one spot if they follow you, especially if they're far, uh, far on the outside like these people are, it's gonna take a while. And it's crucial to use every single second in the event to get your candy. So what I did is I ran in circles. But I not only ran in circles, I used something that I actually found out during the event. These skeletons ha get aggroed as soon as they get into your range. Then they start following you if you run away. And if you actually kill them, and let the bone stay here as soon as they spawn they will take a few steps just as you saw right there into your direction which means that i know for a fact that the walking away from them also helps but sometimes they even lose interest in you and they will not follow you all the way through if i for example this is the perfect example they will even walk away from you so if you kill them and let them respawn the second they spawn they will get going into your direction as you can see right here so what you want to do is run close to them, get them to aggro you, which is really important, and as soon as they do, let them walk a few steps, but after that kill them. It's really important for you to not be able to drag them all the way. You don't have to drag them all the way, you can let them follow you for a couple of steps, and after that you kill them. Because every time you kill them, they will respawn and re-trigger their ability to go after you. So basically what you want to do is run around in circles and every time you come across these people, you just kill them. Because every time they respawn, they will start redirecting their walking direction into your direction. Which basically means as soon as you kill them, you not only have the ability to get candy, but you can also re-trigger them into your direction. So I'm gonna do that right now, right here. And as soon as you have them bunched up in a, in a group, I'm gonna show you one more thing that is pretty important. Also, what's really gonna help you, like I said, is the speed potion, because running around like this takes a big amount of your time that you really want to use, actually. At some points, these guys start getting closer, as you can see right here. And I know it took me quite some time, but like I said, if you have speed pots, this will take you even less time because you, you have to travel around these groups. As long as you don't stop moving around, they will get closer and closer every time you circle around them. At some point, they're getting as close as it could be. And if you stand close in the middle, you will see that every time they spawn, they take a step into your direction. And this is especially important in the, in the late stage of this method. Because as long as you keep standing here and killing them as soon as they spawn off, you will be able to not only kill them with one shot, but you will be able to use this, this spawning time to kill all of them as soon as they spawn. The earlier you, sp you kill them, the earlier they will respawn. And if you all kill them in one shot, you have the ability to kill them really, really quickly and to get a bunch of candy or the chance for a bunch of candy. If you do this until it's 6 o'clock in the morning, which I'm gonna do right there, you will end up with a ton of candy. And like I said, for the method that I'm using, this is the crucial part. I don't think anybody else has ever shown this off, but this is actually how I got my, my skeleton horse. It's really important to group them up, even though a lot of people said, and I think a lot of people already also gotten the horsemen without grouping them up as close as I did. But, like I said, as closer, the closer they are and the faster you kill them, the faster you will be able to respawn them because of their dropped bone. Which means, essentially, the closer you get them together, the, the faster they die and the faster they respawn again. As you can see right here, this is working out not perfectly, but pretty good actually. And this would get you a ton of candy in the spooky event. After that, as soon as it hits 6 o'clock in the morning, which I'm gonna do right now, is you'll be going to the castle and farm for wolves. I would recommend just walking around and killing the wolves with a bow because you don't have the intimidation artifact on you so they will start attacking you and it's pretty easy to make some good candy over here as well. All right, and this basically sums up the method. It's pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. You just want to abuse the skeletons as, as hard as possible before getting over to the wolves again. And like I said, and want to repeat one more time, these skeletons start spawning at 7 o'clock p.m. in-game time and stop spawning at 6 o'clock a.m. in-game time. The in-game time is really easily readable on the right side of your scoreboard over here. And it's pretty easy. You just go there right before they spawn and then you start grouping them up. 
like I said, the spooky festival always starts at midnight, which means you should be able to group them up before the event even starts. So you can use the skeleton method as, as long as possible before you run out of night time. And since I didn't really record it because I actually didn't think it would be possible or me being able to get it, I actually only have three minutes of footage of the of the event where I actually got the horse. But I guess you can you can see it pretty good on how I actually got the candy, how much candy I've gotten because this was the last night of the event. And I will just quickly say one thing even though this probably will not do anything about it. If you come in a lobby and you see other people in there, please be so kind to either ask or because just think of yourself wanting the horse as much as they want and someone coming in and destroying the dream for you. Since this is basically it for the video, I hope I didn't only help you out with being able to have the dream of a skeleton horse come true by being a solo player, but also helped you out with the strategy so that you can get it by yourself in the next event. And with that, I wish you guys all the best luck for the next event. May the hub selector be with you on the random hubs so that you get your own private lobby. And since I hope you liked the video, if you did, I would really appreciate a like as well as a sub if you want to follow around with my next upcoming videos. And yes, I am going to post a couple new videos in the upcoming weeks. You can feel free to do so and turn on the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And since that's it, thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.